Hello and welcome back to the Salon Touch video channel. Today we will discuss how to process your EFTs using one of Salon Touch's integrated merchant processors. To begin, we click Setup and then click the credit card processing. This is where you originally set up your credit card processing information. However, there are a couple of things I want to show you before we get started. The option automatically decline expired credit cards should only be used for non-token transactions. This means you should only use this option when you are processing actual credit card numbers. Essentially, this option blocks a credit card from being processed if the expiration date has expired. Since most transactions today use tokens, we are going to turn this option off. The next option I want to point out is how to charge an NSF fee when an EFT transaction is declined. As you can see, we have the set amount to $5. Now, this can be applied to either the NSF EFT account or the NSF fees account. We suggest you only apply this fee to the NSF EFT account. You want to do this so that when you are doing your accounting, it is clear that this fee was for an EFT account that was already declined. You would select the NSF fees account option for a point of scale transaction in which the client issues a chargeback or wrote a check that came back to client. Now that we have our options set the way we want, click the save button. We are now ready to start processing our EFTs. To process the EFTs, we click on the manager and then click EFT processing. A draft date form is displayed. You'll notice the month and year are automatically filled in, so all we need to do is select the day the EFT draft, and to do this, we click on the list box. All the days that appear in the list box are days in which the EFT accounts have been set up to process. As you can see, we have 7 days. For our example, I'm going to select the 15th and then click OK. This will show every client that has an EFT draft date on the 15th. As you can see in this example, we have two clients that are set up to process on the 15th. You can see the client's ID, their name, the amount of their gross draft, if their account is set up to have a discount on the first draft, and the net draft. If there are taxes that need to be charged on this draft, then those would be displayed here, and then next to the taxes you will see the total amount of the draft. Once the draft is processed, the results of the draft will be displayed here. This is the column for the NSF fee, and here is the draft type. As you can see, one client is using a Visa and in the next column you can see that the last four numbers are the credit card and the token. In this area, you can store a secondary account to be used as a backup account if the primary account failed to go through. So, if the primary account was the client when it was first processed, you can choose to use the backup account when reprocessing. However, only use the secondary account if the primary account did not process. It is not necessary to have a secondary account for any client, but it may prove to be beneficial if you have a lot of declines. Let me explain the fields before we process these accounts. There is a breakdown based on the type of account to be drafted, how many dollars has been approved or declined, and the total amount drafted. Over here, we show that there are $45 to be collected for Visa and $55 to be collected for MasterCard. Since we haven't actually processed these EFTs, we don't show any approves or declines in the results column. In this section, I can select which accounts I want to process. I can select all and a check mark will be put in the box next to all accounts in the list. I can select the non-processed option and this will select all accounts that were never sent to be processed or the accounts that came back declined. But since none of the accounts have been processed, all are going to be checked. I can also select only the ones that were approved or were declined. At this point, you can see all the backgrounds are white, which means that the accounts are ready to be processed. So once processed, the accounts will either be green or red. Green indicates that the accounts processed successfully, and red indicates the accounts were declined. This key right here, which has a white background and a blue font, lets me know that the account was previously attempted to be processed but was declined and because it was declined, you are able to add an NSF to their account. So, when you cancel out of the screen and come back in, you will see that this client's account will have a white background with blue font. So, you can immediately recognize that the NSF has been applied to this account. I will show you how to do that in just a few seconds. But let's go ahead and process these EFTs. I will select the All option which puts a check mark next to each account. 
Next, I will select the option to use the primary or first account for processing. Because I have no NSS at this point, I can just leave the option blank, or I can check the option to process without NSS. To process the EFTs, you click on the process all button, and after a few moments, you'll see a message reading done. As you can see, both of these accounts were declined. If they had processed, they would have had a green background. Because the accounts failed to process or were declined, I can choose to apply a decline message to the client's account. The next time the client comes into your salon, a message will be displayed alerting the person behind the desk that this client's EFT draft was declined. At this point, I can choose to apply an NSF. One of the things you can always do is click on the NSF EFT column for that particular client and a pop-up will display showing the NSF's amount. This amount includes the $55 EFT monthly draft amount plus the $5 NSF for a total amount of $60. If I wanted to, I can adjust the amount the client owes. I can increase the NSF or decrease it at any moment. I can also make adjustments on the fly for net draft and total draft amounts. So now, I'm going to apply the NSF fees to the selected account and in order to do this, I click the Apply NSF EFTs button. After successfully applying these fees, a message will be displayed reading done and now I click OK. Now let's cancel out of the screen and come back in. Select the 15th from the list and click OK. If you look at the first client in the list, you can see that they have a white background with a blue font which indicates that an NSF fee has been applied to their client's account. This is the amount they currently owe, $70, which includes the monthly EFT draft plus the NSF fee. If I wanted to process this account again, I can choose to process the entire amount of $70 or I can select the option to process without an NSF fee. When this option is selected, you can see that the draft amount changed back to $55, so now it will only attempt to collect the $55. If I process this account again and it is successful in collecting the $55, I will track their payment of the $55 and remove the additional NSF fee that was added. Basically, you are removing the NSF fee that was applied earlier. If this account came back to climb, then their account will still show that they owe $70. If this account had successfully processed the first time, then the background would be showing that a successful transaction took place. But, you need to be very cautious when you're processing EFTs. If, for example, you accidentally selected the process an account that had successfully processed and you chose to process that account using the secondary payment method, then that account will be charged again, essentially double charging the client. The secondary account works independently of the primary or first account, so never select a client that has been successfully processed. After processing your EFT accounts, you can choose to send them an email. Select the clients in this list and click the email button. You will be asked if you want to email just the clients that have been selected. Click yes and the email screen is displayed. You will see a list of all the clients selected including their email addresses. All you need to do at this point is send the message you want to send. This message could be we have successfully processed your monthly draft or please contact us regarding your account. When you are ready to send the email, click the send button. If you want to use an email company such as Constant Contact to communicate with your clients, you can click the export button and this will create a file, which you can then use for importing. You can also print this list if needed by clicking the print button. As you continue to process your EFTs through Salon Touch, you'll become much more familiar with all the advanced options that are available. Thank you for watching. And be sure to check out all our other videos at www.salontouchstudio.com.